after I do questions, we have several styles to show. We're talking about the orchid collection today. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna check these um, questions and I'm gonna answer them and then we'll get right into. We have several styles, a new, a new topper that I, I just love already. And then we have a new color and super excited to introduce you to a new um, style that loves heat. Wow, I, I just can't believe it. So I'm going to start off with, first of all, where are my manners? First of all, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to Renea Paris. I am Daniela at Texas Wig Fairy. If you want to follow me on my personal Instagram. I always want to remind you before I forget, please make sure that you like us, follow us, make sure if you haven't had time to look at our, visit our YouTube channel and I, I can't tell you, make sure that you follow us and like us, subscribe because it's very, very important um, for you to know when we go live, when we launch something new, when we do a quick tutorial when we um, talk about um, talk about different techniques when we do giveaways all that information is very very important so that you it's important for you to follow us excuse me I'm sorry about that um, so you're always in the know if you will okay so I'm going to start off with questions uh, I did um, a cooking tutorial way back where I was, I was actually, I did too, I was at my mom's house and I was steaming in the kitchen and then I did one where I'm actually um, out on a ranch and I was doing grilling. So it's very, very important uh, for me to answer these questions. However, I do want to make sure that I answer them and please keep in mind that it kind of just depends. It, it's not like one answer for every every occasion, if you will, when it comes to cooking, if you will, or every scenario. So first of all, I want to answer, have you ever been out where they're doing like um, cooking by the grill, meaning like a hibachi grill? Yes, I have. First of all, I can understand getting a little bit nervous because I probably would get a little bit nervous myself. Um, I would probably opt to sit further away, but these are all, and I totally understand the question. These are things that I'm going to think about whenever I go, if I was sitting in a, in that, you know, around the hibachi grill. I did do it one time, and I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that it usually, even if you were to read just the, whenever you're looking at, um, anything that's I'm gonna read this from here so that we understand on this tag that is high heat fiber underneath here and when you see this this is from here I'm not making this up right here it says keep away from all sources of excessive heat such as ovens boiling water clothes dryer barbecue grills cigarette lighters that's just really basic, real simple to the point. However, if you are, and if you want to view that video, it's on my, it's on my, um, it's on my gram at Texas Wig Fairy. If you'll notice when I open the grill, I'm stepping away from the grill. I'm not staying right by the grill when, you know, that big burst of air comes out. I'm not right by the grill. So first and foremost, it's probably not the best scenario. I mean, if you don't absolutely have to be the one at the grill and you're not wearing something that's high heat either way, please please understand it's probably not a good idea, period. It, especially if you're gonna feel uncomfortable because you're gonna be constantly thinking about that. Second, I know this sounds, I know this is gonna, be a little bit confusing but I have to just address it this way I don't know no one knows exactly what products you're using on your hairstyles of course 
In a perfect world, we would like to think that we're all using products designed for synthetic hair. However, I know that there are people that use products, they're gonna use whatever they wanna use. So just remember, the most important tip that I can give you is when you're using products for human hair, those contain quite a bit of alcohol. So, and if you look at the back of any hairspray, it says highly flammable. Keep that in mind whenever you are trying to decide if you need to be near a grill, meaning right there, or if you are sitting close to a hibachi grill, same thing, because I don't really know each individual's preferences as far as product. I know that I'm always gonna teach by the book, if you will. I have to teach within the guidelines, and I'm always gonna suggest products that don't have that are made for wigs and synthetic hair doesn't mean that it makes it a safe, like in other words, it's going to be the best option anyway. So that's the best that I can answer that. Um, you know, if you're, if you're going to be uncomfortable, I probably wouldn't do it. Grilling is going to be the same answer. Um, if you were to open the grill and that direct heat hits you, it's going to singe the front. And what, what that means is that it's going to hit the fiber and on you it's not gonna it, I mean I've never had anything um, what happens is it starts frizzing in front of you like it's almost like when you put um, a curling iron to a synthetic fiber and it starts you know it starts frizzing and technically melting um, because it hits you right directly so it singes the front that's what happens if direct heat from a grill or anything like that hits you uh, from the front okay is it possible is it possible to shower with it's not a good idea to, to be in the shower with your wig on like you want to take your wig off to shampoo it I can see where it would I mean if I was wearing this and I were to step in the shower I had to take a quick shower and I could kind of <laughs> avoid getting this part wet like a lot of times like if you're going out swimming and and you know you've been poolside you kind of you're kind of sweaty and you just want to cool off kind of rinse off and you're not going to get your whole body wet then probably it would be it would be okay but for I mean a bake you know it's probably not a good idea if you were to get it wet then it's going to be a little uncomfortable I have done it before I'm not saying it's easy I'm just saying I'm just answering the questions the best that I can um, if if you are depending on you know the shower head if you if you know that you can get in there and not get this part of your body wet then definitely I can see where that would be a possibility okay is Burberry, blueberry burst this color is it still available um, you would have to check the retailer that you're working with and again I would just highly suggest for you to go to reneeparis.com um, in the search find your location and call and see if the retailer next to you has this color available. This is Angelica in in Blueberry Burst. Um, it it's a beautiful color. Uh, I from from the beginning it was limited edition, so I'm not really sure if it's available. Some places may have it, so I'm sorry. I know that's probably not the answer you want to hear, but you can always call and find out if they do have it. Okay, what wig were you wearing in your last Instagram? Okay. Okay, at Texas Wig Fairy, the last wig that I posted is Ray in Mochaccino LR. Okay, that's one of my favorites. It's an older style, however, um, I love that style. It's available in over 10 colors. So, um, check that out if you if you saw that um, please remember another thing I don't answer my questions every single day I I check it periodically I always like to wait till Mondays um, be, because we do Q&A on Mondays but just keep that in mind please okay why do you not always wear black hair I love my black hair I love my natural color um, I love dark hair I'm Latina I love my color However, because we're in this business and we work in research and development, we work in sales, we work in advertising, education, I have to wear all the different colors. 
I mean, I love the dark. This, this would pop. This is my God-given color, not the blueberry part, obviously. However, I love all the colors that um, we offer, and that's the beautiful part about wigs. There's no commitment, and it it changes so often in one day. But I always try to pick one crown of the day that I really, really, really love the color, or maybe it's the way I styled it. Um, but I love all the different colors, but of course, this is my favorite color, dark. However, I know that you've noticed this, but not all styles are available in espresso or dark colors. So this is, um, of course, one of my favorite colors, but just to answer that, of course I love my dark hair, but I don't always wear it because I have, I have so many wigs from Renee Paris that I have to wear. Okay, are you, are all your wigs modified? I get that question a lot. No, my wigs are not modified, meaning they're not cut, they're not, I don't do anything to this. I pull it up with clips, but I don't cut anything away, or if I do trim anything, I'll let you know. I am a licensed cosmetologist. However, I don't modify anything. I always try to show it in its true form, right out of the box. Um, I even I even saved um, a little crisscross part that I want to show you because a lot of times if you get it out of the box that way you think it's it's a mistake it's something's wrong with it so we're gonna go over that in just a few minutes is Angelica the only wig that you can put up no I have put up this is Angelica and I know you've requested for me to for for me to do an updo video if you go to our YouTube channel, there's there's a couple of them. I will try to work into here in a couple weeks, maybe doing something live for you. But uh, Seville is a wig that you can put up. I've done Cali. I've done Janelle. There's just so many different pieces that I have put up. Some of them are a little bit um, more work, if you will. I mean, if you're not used to doing it, this this is a little bit more work to put up if you're not used to it. However, there are several styles that you can put up, and I'll try to put that in my descriptions on my personal Instagram, like which wig it is, because I know I forget that. I kind of just do it in passing and forget. Um, okay, so I think that's it for questions and answers. Let's get into the fun stuff, okay? Okay, so we're talking about the orchid line. I want to show you what the tag looks like. There are several styles from the Orchid collection. And I'm going to start off with Halley. Some people may say Haley, Halley. And we're going to be looking at chocolate pretzel. First of all, let me read you the, the, um, the important information the length the bang and so forth okay so this is going to be lace front the fringe the bang is nine inches the crown is 6.5 the nape is two inches and the weight is 2.82 ounces this this style this is such a fun style um i really love this style okay are you ready again this is chocolate pretzel you're gonna love this color i know you are And then the one thing that I, I do want to say before, I had to pick, please keep in mind, I didn't have time to be changing my lipstick for all the different styles, so keep that in mind. Sorry about that, but the most important thing is this beautiful style. Um, this is just, this is available in over, over seven colors. I want you to see... Um, Let me fix this in the back and then I'm gonna turn around. And the most, important, the, the most important thing I wanna share with you before I turn around or show you any of the styles is please keep in mind that my head is a little bit larger and I do have some bio hair underneath here. So this is gonna make some styles appear a little bit shorter on me. Like on someone who, who has a smaller head and who may not have hair underneath this may fall a little bit lower. So, I mean, it may look a little bit longer. So please keep that in mind. It 
Isn't this beautiful? This is just a beautiful style. Again, this is um, a sneak peek for the Orchid Collection Chocolate Pretzel. Great style. Just And this is, again, lace front. This is going to be one of those styles. And next week, I will get into the styling and so forth of all the different looks. However, is that not great? This is just a beautiful style. I love it. There's, just, there's going to be so much that you can do with this this look it's the movement the overall cut I just really 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 like this okay next we are going to look at Brit I know you want to see high heat I'm gonna do that at the end please Always remember, if you're not sure that, um, if something's high heat or not, you can always go to Renea Paris and check. Definitely check the tags. But you, if you are looking for high heat, um, you can go to ReneaParis.com, drop that in the description, and it will pull all the styles up for you that are, that are high heat. Okay, so this is Brit. This is Machine Made. And always remember these all have adjustments. This is 4.5 in the bang, 6.5 in the crown, 1.5 in the nape, and the weight is 2.5 ounces. This is definitely a really nice summer look. Okay. Please keep in mind on on someone else. My this really looks. This is going to be a little bit look a little bit longer on someone else. My head again. My head is kind of big, so just keep that in mind. This is just a cute, sassy little, really nice cut for the summertime. It's got a nice neckline. Isn't this adorable? Okay, this is cherry cola. Nice. I just can't get over. This is available in, let me see here, over seven colors. Okay, next we have sassy this is I'm really excited this is this style I really this is gonna be our um, high heat style um, let me show you that in isn't it fun to just have to choose which color okay so this is cream de cocoa I really love this style I can see this is gonna be one of those styles that you're just definitely gonna want to this has soft layers it's beautiful the length is great this is also machine made seven inches in the bang nine inches in the crown the nape is eight inches and the weight is 4.58 ounces and I just you know this is gonna this is one of my favorite colors this also has adjustments on the inside they all do please keep that in mind Isn't this fun? Okay, so I can definitely see where this is gonna be fun because with this bang, you could definitely, you know, you've seen me do that, play with a part. Can you see the link there? Isn't that nice? Great color, great style. There's, I can't wait to show you what you can do with this. And I'll, and please remember, this is, this is a high heat synthetic fiber. So this is one of our high heat options. 
I have to wait to show you what you can do with it because this is just a sneak peek, but I just want to get my hands in it. Okay, so please remember, I'm always going to show you pretty much what it looks like out of the box. This hasn't, um, in the next coming weeks, we'll be showing you different, different looks and different styles that you can create with this. This is Sassy and Cream de Coco. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to show you our new color. Our new color is Cream Velvet. Are you ready? This is, I love this color. This is, um, oh my goodness. For those of you that have that are, that love um, creamy toffee and nutmeg f this is going to be a color that you definitely just love great style again this is a height heat option Okay, so I gave you the specs on this one because this is the same style. This is just, I want you to see our new color. This is gorgeous. I just, there's just going to be so much we can do with this style. Can't wait to show you. So real, real quick fun tip. Someone asked me last week, how come I don't wear human hair wigs? These are human hair lashes. And that's why, because with humidity and my body heat, this gets soft and it looks funny. I just had to share that. I have to have, I have to laugh about this situation myself because I just can't find synthetic ones that I really like. Okay, is this not gorgeous? This is high heat. This is orchid. This is gorgeous i love this style can't wait again to show you what i can do with this what we can do with this this kind of falls here this would look amazing on my mother okay next okay so i'm really excited to show you this i'm gonna i'm gonna have to show you this topper without um, I'm going to just show you the length and so forth so you know what she looks like. We're looking at Inslee TP. Let me show you the inside. Again, this is just sneak peek. This is lace front, lace part. This is 6.75 in the bang, 6.5 in the crown. 15 inches in the length and 3.52 ounces and this is walnut this is going to be fun this is going to be one of those links that's going to be great okay again um this is lace front isn't that beautiful this is just beautiful okay so I wanted you to see this here. I'm going to I'm going to brush it out for you, but I wanted you to see this because I cannot tell you how many people see this and they think it's a mistake, like it was designed incorrectly. I want you to see this right here. This is a question that I receive every single week. So when you're getting the wig out of the box and you see this, and you think that this is incorrect, like it's it's designed incorrectly. You don't see the lace there. It's supposed to be lace part. What's happening? What um can't wait to order this color. Yes, this is gonna be a great color. Isn't this gorgeous? I agree with you, Shirley. This is gonna be a great, this is a great color, great length, great style. I don't think my hair is this long, but next week I will show you how I'm going to work that into my own hair. Okay, so I want to show you again. When you get the part and it looks like this, like it's woven and, and you're looking at it thinking they said that I was going to be able to see 
um, lace through there and I don't know what the problem is let me just show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just take a brush and I'm gonna brush through this and I'm doing it very notice I'm not going all the way down I don't want to do this I'm just gonna brush through that part and then I'm gonna put it back on how is everyone welcome to Renee Paris I'm gonna brush one more time and what I'm doing is I'm softening that part and always remember when you're working with this this type of feature lace front lace part you want to work with the palms of your fingers not your nails and I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of just move hair around here you know you kind of have to work with the little little bit and I can't tell you you know once you start wearing these in body heat hits the fiber and everything just starts looking so much better okay um you know sorry about that i'm my hair is so dark underneath there that you're not really seeing but at least you let me pull this down so okay of course this isn't where it would be placed but i just want you to see how different the part looks once you've combed through that and if if i was wearing a nude colored wig liner this is how different the part looks once you comb through it so that is very very important to know okay again this is a tp this is a topper this is not a full style for those of you that have just joined this has the clips in it i love the 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 size of let me read the size for you Okay, you know what let me let me just get my measuring because this is something I always want to know okay this is good the base of this is going to be about seven and a half across the length across here And from the hairline back about six and a half okay so that's a little bit larger which is wonderful wonderful let me put that back on again this is a topper next week I'll show you styling options we'll have fun with that next week and again we are doing sneak peek today we will again stay close so that you'll know exactly when these are going to launch okay so which was your favorite again new color for those of you that have just joined cream velvet let me make sure that i show you that one more time this is walnut and i want to just show you just right off i think this is going to be my favorite this is going to be one of my favorites so i'm going to kind of close with her okay so i think i'm going to sign off with this one Yes, isn't this a sassy look? I love it. Okay, so I can definitely see um, Hallie, Haley. Sorry about that. Even They can tell me exactly what it needs to be called, and you know I'm going to put my own flair to it. So this is gorgeous. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you visit our YouTube channel and thank you for all the questions because like I said, I may not answer them right away, but I will answer them on Mondays. That's gorgeous. Don't forget our new color and don't forget to check out our high heat style. Thank you for joining me today. Bye now.